Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading is going to be for Tuesday, March the 29th. I believe that's correct. Let me just check my calendar here. Yes, it is the 29th. And all week long, we're going to be using the Tau Oracle deck. Thought I would change it up a little bit from the angel cards and use something a little bit different this week. Uh, and let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all angels, light beings, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. I don't believe this. <laughs> These two cards came up again. Okay, we have the gentle... And then we also have the Marrying Maiden. We just had these. And we have the Taming Power of the Great. Okay, well, we're getting repeat cards already. And there's someone out there who's in a relationship where they're being dominated, they're being controlled, and this is all happening because they're lacking the self-confidence or maybe the strength to leave the situation. They're maybe scared of this person, that this person, you know, may cause harm to them or become violent if they try to leave. But this is no way to live. You cannot continue to be manipulated by someone who only wants to control. If a person loves you, they don't feel the need to control you. They want you to be happy. Okay, this card here really stands out to me. Again, someone's in a very dysfunctional, unhealthy relationship. And then, again, the gentle approach. Okay. Uh, this card coming up again, repeating itself, saying soft approach, subtle but deep influence, understanding, nonviolence, faith. Yes, have faith in yourself. Okay, maybe things don't work out quite the way we've planned, but guess what? There's something bigger and better that's meant for you. Sometimes when things get so bad, it's really a blessing in disguise. Sometimes things have to get really awful in order to finally give you that final push out the door. But be gentle about it. Violence is never the way to go. Okay? No matter how much somebody has wronged you, and no matter how much you want to punch them in the face, believe me, I've felt like that many times, that is not going to make the situation better. The best thing you can do at this point is to be gentle, send them loving kindness, and try to move on. Um, situations could get, you know, way out of hand when arguments start up, when things get heated. This is telling you to continue being gentle. Even if the other person is, is a very uh, hot-headed person, someone who, you know, just blows up very easily, you don't have to mirror their energy. Continue to keep your composure and continue to approach it in a gentle way. That's going to bring positive energy to you, and that's going to help you resolve the situation. And then the last card is the Taming Power of the Great. And isn't that a magnificent card? And this card says self-discipline, concentration, strength, Strengthen your character from within, self-awareness, realizing potential. Yes, discipline yourself enough to know that you will have what you want, all in divine timing, in relationships, in your life. we got to stay strong. we got to have strength of character. We have to be respected. We should never stoop to the level of seeking revenge on anyone. We should never uh, feel that we're not good enough or not worthy enough to have uh, loving relationships and to have a happy life. This card here is saying, you know, self-discipline, concentration. Yeah, we got to focus on being disciplined. we got to focus on being determined, going after what we want, but in a non-aggressive way, in a very gentle way. So we may be leaving a relationship. Maybe we're leaving a, a, a job. You know, maybe that, that card that we had, 
with the being manipulated, although I really believe it is a romantic situation. Maybe this is, you know, something else that's controlling you in your life. But with the discipline and self-awareness, okay, we could accomplish a lot. But if you're not aware of what's going on in your life and you choose to see things in a positive light when they're not all that positive, you're only, de you're only deceiving yourself. You're, you're only in denial. Sometimes things are painful to look at them with your eyes wide open. But this right here, this card is telling me, you know, realizing your potential. We all have potential. But if we stay stuck in bad situations, we're never going to reach that potential. And of course, it's scary making changes. It's scary removing yourself from a relationship that you've been in for many, many years. It's very scary when you leave a job that you've been there for many, many years. But without change, things aren't going to improve. And, you know, concentrate on it. You know, work on it diligently. People's lives don't change overnight going to take a lot of ups and downs to finally get things the way that you want them to be. But the most important thing is taking at least a step in the right direction and being disciplined enough and realizing your potential because when you do that you could accomplish a lot of things. So don't feel like you, you lack anything. You have the potential to make your life whatever you want it to be. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.